Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this week's edition of Intuitive Mind with Nancy Rebecca and I'm going to be talking about the frequency forecast for the month of May. We are already in the month of May just by a few days though but the patterns that we're going to be seeing this month are almost like these patterns are going to be repeating themselves throughout the entire year of 2021. I don't know if you have seen the video from April, the frequency forecast, but that was a very different month where the frequency was very high. It's almost like there was this kind of a high pitched, we could definitely hear it in our ears. It was way up high and one of those higher dimensions. Um, it was really kind of super sizing, super activating our crown chakra and the kind of results that we were seeing from that was a lot of head and neck and shoulder discomfort. I'm still feeling a little off to the left of my head, still feeling a little residual from that, not totally over that yet, but I knew that it was going to be spilling over into May. But when I tuned into uh, the month of May, it was almost like the magnetic poles had shifted. There was this dramatic flip in energy. Now I love reading about astrology and I love the influences of the planets, but I don't totally understand astrology, um, but I do understand frequency and vibration. And so as you heard me talk about in April, I've always liked to kind of get a jump on things, kind of tune in, find out what the next month might have coming up. And if it's really going to be rocking and rolling, I like to meditate for a while and kind of clear what might ever get triggered uh, inside of me so I can be better prepared for the month. And so that's when Spirit said, well, you're already doing it for yourself anyway, so why don't you share what you're picking up with other people? So um, what I'm noticing is as high as that frequency was for April, way above the head, there was always kind of this kind of disassociation or kind of numbness in the body. This month of May is totally different. So it's way deep in the earth. If you can imagine where the bottom of your feet are, I can sense and feel this kind of deep rumbling in the earth. And um, it's really, instead of impacting and activating our crown chakra on that hyperspin that would slowly kind of move down and hyperspin, activate our sixth chakra, and then move down and activate our fifth and our fourth and our third and second and first, and then to the grounding, this is coming from the opposite direction. So where you're going to be noticing this more is more kind of physical, structural sorts of things. So you may feel um, more kind of aches in your bones, more like your legs, foot, foot problems, foot issues, um, hip issues, especially the left side. I remember asking Spirit, why in particular on the left side? And it looks like a lot of us might be kind of uh, feeling that kind of hitch and our giddy up there on that lower left back. Um, and it has more about what Spirit was saying was, we're going to be much more receptive. We're learning to receive the energies. Uh, we're uh, growing in our ability to, yeah, to accept, to kind of digest. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about digestion as we go along. But I have a kind of a story to share with you about how we can kind of feel this movement underneath the ground. So I live here in the Pacific Northwest, specifically Tacoma, Washington. But here we always can um, kind of sense or feel the tectonic plates that are deep in the earth. And those tectonic plates are always kind of sliding um, over in and out and over they kind of roll along very smoothly um, I always think about oil the purpose of oil in the earth is kind of like the synovial fluid that you have in your joints if your joints are um, have a lot of synovial fluid they're going to move it's not going to be that snap crackle and pop they're going to move easily when you have to bend down to pick something up off the floor so it's the same with the earth the earth needs that oil 
um, in between to kind of when the, the when the earth moves that um, that oil helps make it a little uh, easier to kind of slide around so we are constantly here in the Pacific Northwest having earthquakes but most of the time most of us can't feel it um, and so those tectonic plates are moving pretty smoothly adjusting and adapting but this is where spirit kind of tried to explain it to me so I had a friend who came to visit from Florida now Florida is you know the land is right there at sea level and in some places where the land is even lower you know it's very swampy kind of watery at the surface but um, it's a very different land there on the east coast in florida than it is up here in the pacific northwest we're surrounded by i think by five active volcanoes uh, that are kind of lying dormant right now so but the land is very active here so what spirit was reminding him when my friend came to visit from florida um, I had taken her bags out of my car and I was kind of heading uh, down the path alongside my house and I got up by the front porch and I noticed she wasn't there with me. And so I kind of went back along the path around the side of the house and she was down on the ground with both hands on the ground down on her knees. And I said, are you okay? Did you fall? And she said, no, can't you feel that? And I, I said, no, what, what are you feeling? And she said, the earth is moving. And she could literally feel, because she was used to the earth underneath her being quieter, uh, more still, and she came up here, wasn't used to feeling tectonic plates. So I was able to uh, kind of help her into the house, and it took her a couple of days to adjust, but she finally got used to feeling that constant movement with the tectonic plates. But what Spirit was saying, and this is all relatable to the month of May, because remember those changes are coming up through our feet. We're feeling the earth move under our feet. And so what I know about earthquakes, I've been through a couple of earthquakes um, while I've lived here, and one of the earthquakes was very shallow, meaning that when the plates and when that rumbling happens and the earth quakes and it's close to the surface, it's going to feel much more kind of violent in a way. It's really gonna shake things up. And it does sound like suddenly somebody has just activated a um, jackhammer right next to your ear. You can actually hear the pa pow, pow of the earthquake that happens. It, and it can sound like an explosion. So then when it goes across the surface of the earth, it can really do a lot of structural damage. However, I've also been through an earthquake here where it's deep in the earth, you know, where it can be miles and miles and miles deep. When that earthquake happens, the earth, deep in the earth, takes, kind of uh, filters the shock wave. So by the time it gets to the surface here, it can be a large earthquake but because it's so deep, we'll feel it as kind of a gentle roll. And it's almost like the earth, the soil gets liquefied. You'll see kind of these waves and almost like you'll see the trees kind of wave up and down, it passes through very smoothly. So I share this experience with you because this is what the month of May is like. It's like if you have shallow grounding, if you're not very grounded, or um, you tend to kind of live out of your body, it might really shake up your life in a much more kind of causing structural damage, I mean, not literally structural damage to your body, but the way that your life can get shaken up now between May 1st and May 17th, May 18th, it might shake up your relationships, it might shake up where you live, where you want to live. It might shake up things at work and it might be a very kind of rapid structural change where you're kind of left picking up the pieces. Or if you're pretty well stable in your life, very well grounded in your life, and that grounding is very deep, then it's gonna be pretty smooth structural shifts and changes. Now, it doesn't mean, for some of you, yeah, structural change can happen overnight, where suddenly you thought you were okay in your relationship, and the next thing you know, it's like things aren't okay suddenly. 
and you can't move forward in that relationship or things that you found that you were content and settled with and suddenly that seems to change as well. So, um, but yeah, so if you have those kind of deeper groundedness, you're gonna notice the changes, maybe even in the workplace, but it's gonna smooth, it's gonna kind of smooth out, take its own time, you'll be able to adapt and digest those changes. So um, yeah, so that's what it's gonna be like this month. Um, let's see, I talked about the tectonic plates. Oh, so some of you might feel a little unnerved, especially this first kind of three weeks of May. Uh, maybe feel a little bit agitated, a little bit irritated. Um, and that's again, if you have kind of those shallow roots or those shallow connections to your home or shallow connections to the workplace or shallow connections to relationship, then it might kind of rock things up. You might be extra unnerved. Uh, but for those of you who are well grounded, you might not even notice it at all. You think, oh, okay, life's changing. I'm expecting this and I'm all right. So again, there's gonna be kind of two camps or what I call two sides of the coin. Um, some of you, as I said, like when I was walking in the house, I didn't feel the tectonic plates moving. I was fine, but my friend felt them dramatically. So some of you, you're gonna sail through the month of May and think, well, that was a piece of cake. And then others are like, wow, where, where are you living right now? <laughs> and so for others, it'll be quite dramatic. And again, April was, was very different. Everyone's crown chakras were getting activated. In this situation, our root chakra, our survival chakra is getting the most activated. So anything having to do around survival, um, whether it's community, relationships, work, home, planning your life, um, it's gonna get shaken up in that root chakra. Um, and I said, the relationships can um, get a little testy. So in your relationships, have those talks and say, you know, you're my person, right? I'm your person, right? We've got this relationship, right? Things can get shaken up a little bit this month, but let's make sure we have each other's back. So I always say just kind of have those conversations because if things get, if the volume gets turned up and what annoys you about them or what annoys them about you, you want to have the conversation ahead of time. Why don't we just give each other space if that happens? Your dream world, especially in these first three weeks, is gonna get highly activated. Um, I'm not a big dreamer, but I will tell you my dreams have been very active these past couple of weeks. But this is the, 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 this is the big thing about dreams, is prophetic dreams. So prophetic means prophecy type dreams, where you have a dream and it feels like it's significant. It feels like it's important. Um, there's kind of, I call it the aftertaste of the dream is gonna stick with you for a while. So I highly recommend that you start making notes, you start journaling about your dreams because it'll be interesting to see if some of the things do end up unfolding the way you saw it in your dream. Now I know in the dream world, we do as spirit, we're going to do a couple of dry runs um, just like a play. You're gonna practice the play and then you're gonna practice the dress rehearsal long before you actively get on the stage to perform in front of an audience. It's the same way as spirit. You're gonna play things out in the dream world. You're gonna practice it quite a bit in the dream world. You're gonna have the dress rehearsal before you actually act it out in the physical world. So pay attention to your dreams. Plan ahead this month. This is all about planning with the human body and mind. Start to set your goals about where you want to be. My spirit has been telling me almost every single day, Nancy, don't look left, don't look right, don't look in back of you, only look forward. And we've heard this before, you've heard me say this before, this is not just about setting goals for the next month, it's about setting goals for the next three years. And this month of May is an excellent month to be planning and setting those goals. But this is one thing that Spirit told me about this, 
it's not only about setting goals, but including those things of service, not just self-serving, but how can you be in service to others? And that can be your family. It's like, how can I be in a, a service to my loved ones? Um, how can I be in service to those in my neighborhood? How can I be in service to those at work? So really starting to think about more of that uh, service mindedness. What kind of global changes can you expect to see? When I asked that question of spirit, spirit said, whatever has shallow roots, you can expect to see that there can be damage there. It can crumble, it can fall. So whether it's um, our political system, our financial institutions, um, maybe the work that you're working in. I'm a nurse, so I've worked in hospitals before, and we know that our medical system, it, it has to go through an overhaul. We know that it's not, not working in the way that it used to be. And I remember when I was first a nurse, it was required that we gave our patients back rubs in the evening before they settled to sleep. It was one of the policies and that's just not true anymore. It's not required anymore. So um, there's lots of changes that are happening. So what Spirit said is the more shallow the roots, meaning the more shallow your way of thinking. If there's a company that thinks very short-sightedly, you know, how can I get the most money in my pocket next week? But those companies that aren't thinking long-term, how can we be in service to our employees? How can we be in service to the products that we're producing? Um, if they're thinking very short-sightedly, um, what the information that's coming through for me is that there can be a big collapse of those structures, collapse of those businesses, and a total, so we can just kind of clean it out. Just like if we had an earthquake here and there's crumbling bricks off a building, you're gonna clean it up can you patch it up or is it beyond repair and you need to take down the whole building and build up a brand new structure? This is completely what May is about. Um, and so who knows how that's going to unfold and turn out, but what do we do? We're not, we're just going to get out, get to work, clean it up and come up with some new things, some fresh things. Um, and so th some institutions may not be restorable. Some may go away, but um, this is a huge, huge wake-up call for us. And that wake-up call in your own life, remember how you have survived in the past is not going to work for you very well moving forward. Now, it's not for everyone. Some of you have been doing a lot of work and that you really are aligned with where you're going. But I will tell you, You've heard me talk about this before. There's a huge surge of creative energy that's coming to the surface to help us get more creative. You can do that ahead of time. You don't have to wait for uh, structures to start falling apart to think, you know, I need to maybe look at my business a little bit differently. I need to come up with some new innovative ways. Let's all do a think tank and let's bring all the employees together and let's how can we start shifting our structure so that it's deeper, uh, more aligned with a kind of a soul purpose, a spiritual purpose, more aligned with being in service? You can start doing that right now. And I know it's going to sound silly, but be creative at home. Start getting those creative juices going. You've heard me say in other videos that, yeah, I... I like to bake. If I bake pies, that gets my creativity going. I love to write, that gets my creativity going. So whatever you need to do, if you don't feel creative, you know, be creative about how you're gonna be creative. Um, clean out the clutter. This is another huge thing about May. So I work with energy fields, and if I do a reading for someone who lives in a very cluttered household, if they are, um, what do we call it, when you save everything, like you hoard things, or you're just a collector of things, every single item in your household holds your energy. If you've purchased it and you brought it into your home, it's in your energy field. So when someone gets a healing and you release energy out of your energy field, 
those items in your household must go too. And right now we are in a huge um, grounding, survival chakra activation, letting go, letting go, letting go. So one of the easy ways is to literally clean out the closets, clean out your rooms, take things out to donate, go make a garbage dump um, run. All of those things, I know they might not sound very spiritual, but they are very spiritual. But here, as someone who's a clairvoyant, I can see in the energy fields, I'm gonna give you a little tip. When you're going to give an item away, set your intention that you pull your energy out of it. You're gonna take your energy out of it so you're not giving away your energy to someone else. So take your energy and that's all you have to do. It's like, I'm pulling my energy out of this and when you feel like it's complete, then give the item away. So just go around your house, start pulling your energy out of things that you're ready to let go of. You definitely wanna get out in nature, you definitely wanna exercise more, you definitely wanna pace yourself and you definitely want to do that deep grounding. Remember, the deeper you ground, the more smooth your transitions through these changes are. Now, when we get to May 19th to May 27th, this is where time is going to get a little funky. So it's almost going to be a little time warpish. Have you ever been in a car and you're going down the highway and you're passing another car and so, let's say you're in the passenger seat you're just watching the car next to you and you're passing it it's going the same speed that it was but suddenly you it feels like you're going backwards that's what's going to happen now from may 19th to may around may 27th there's going to be this almost like this kind of slowing down where you almost feel like you're going backwards but you're still going 60 miles an hour down the highway but it's going to feel a little time warpish. And then it's almost like this slingshot where it's like you feel like you're going slower and then there's going to be this rapid movement almost right about the end of June into July where you'll see this kind of fast pace pick up. But when I talk about this time warp, uh, Spirit gave me this example of like you're asking your spouse or your friend or one of your children to go take the garbage, roll it, it's gonna be garbage day in the morning, take the garbage bin out. And you do that uh, and they come back in and they're like, I thought I told you to take the garbage out. When are you gonna do that? And it's like, well, we already did that and we talked to the neighbor and we sat down in the grass for a minute before we came back in, like, where were you? That's that kind of time warpish thing that's going to be happening towards the end of May where it just feels like you can't, time is changing, you can't really get a handle on it. Um, so when I said that we're going to notice this over the next few, few months, that's what we're going to notice. We're going to notice this kind of speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down high frequency above, like this total magnetic pole shift, frequency activation below, and then frequency activation above. So we are going through very a very big awakening on the earth. Um, there's a big conscious awakening that's happening. When I said this huge wake up call, I can just tell you, I've been teaching intuitive development and psychic development for a long time. And I've been doing readings for 25 years and looking at the dynamics of the human energy field. And I was just talking to a very dear friend who's an incredible psychic uh, today about this. And we're laughing because remember I talked about that structural kind of destruction where the way that we've taught all these years, it's collapsing. It's almost becoming obsolete. We're having to kind of recreate new structures to be able to teach and to be able to communicate the vibrational frequencies that we're noticing on the earth. But we had a good laugh because we said, as soon as we create this structure, 
a new way of teaching, uh, presenting new material, especially the prophetic side, the prophecy side. Like suddenly you're living a life and then suddenly you have this feeling that something's coming up or you can just tell changes are ahead. Um, but we were laughing because we said, we can do this whole new outline of a new course and three months from now, we'd have to throw that out and start all over again. Where in the past, the structure that I built lasted 25 years. So that's what I'm talking about. And the sooner that you can just kind of laugh about it and be okay about it and just go with the flow and allow your soul, your spirit to guide you to the next step, you're going to be able to ride those waves with the rest of the world. And we are, we are building these relationships and, and reaching out, getting out into the community. I realize we're in COVID, but picking up the phone and talking to someone you haven't talked to in a long time. We're really in this kind of redeveloping, restructuring all the relationships in our life with ourselves, with each other, with our home, with our family, with our work. So May is going to be a, a big restructuring month. And then remember, the time's going to change a little bit, a little bit of a time warp. Um, and May is going to be very different than April, uh, excuse me, June. It's going to be very different than April and May was. But we're going to see the cycles kind of come through again. So I think that's, uh, that's enough to get you started this month. So happy cleaning out those closets. I definitely have some pretty, pretty big cleaning out projects that I have planned for this month to just kind of help me in my own restructuring process. So thanks again for tapping in this week and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. If you don't know how to ground, go to my website, intuitivemind.org click on the products button. You'll see free meditations that you can download. I've got a great couple of meditations there for grounding. And um, you know, we have our home study program. If you really wanna learn more about intuitive development and even more about grounding, um, you can click on that button for the home study program. And if you like the offerings that I give each week, please just click the subscribe button. The little bell will give you a notification every week when a new video comes out. So thanks again, everyone. Take care and have a wonderful month of May.